Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. We will now pray the Holy Rosary. Please kneel. O sacred feast, in which we partake of Christ, His sufferings are remembered, our minds are filled with His grace, and we receive the pledge of the glory which is to be ours. He gave them bread from heaven to be their food, and this bread contained all goodness. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you gave us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. May your worship of this sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience salvation you want for us and the peace of the kingdom where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour, Pour forth, forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, hearts that, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made, made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Christ, O Lord. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us meditate on the joyful mysteries. The first joyful mystery the Annunciation. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. 
Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The second joyful mystery, the visitation. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us in us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now, and will be forever. Amen. The third joyful mystery, the birth of Christ. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fourth joyful mystery, the presentation. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, 
pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now, and will be forever. Amen. The fifth joyful mystery, the finding of a child Jesus in the temple. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of our womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of our womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We fly to your patronage, O Holy, Holy Mother, Mother of God. God. Despise, despise not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us from all dangers. O our glorious and blessed Virgin, Queen of the Holy Rosary of Manawa, pray for us, that we may be made worthy the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O, o God, God, His only begotten Son, by His life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant, we beseech you, that meditating upon these mysteries of the Holy Rosary, of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through Christ our Lord. Amen. Behold the faithful and prudent steward, whom the Lord has set over his household. The Lord has shown him his love and covered him with glory. He has clothed him with a splendid garment. Let us pray. Father, we entrusted our Savior to the care of St. Joseph. By the help of his prayers, may your church continue to serve the Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. 
Amen. Jubilee prayer for the golden anniversary of the Dominican province of the Philippines. O God, our Father and Creator, in, in whom we live and move and have, have our being, we praise you as we gather in gentle grace and gratitude on this jubilee of the Dominican province of the Philippines. O God, the Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, we preach you as the way, the truth, and the life, whose name we proclaim, his love is trapped incarnate. O God, the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide, we bless you and seek the outpouring of your presence in the witness of our words and works and the consecration of our lives to holy preaching in speaking only to you and about you. Let our celebration be filled with fidelity to our mission, with hope for your promise, and with true charity binding us all and the gospel we share with all peoples. By your will, O God, in your name, O Lord. Amen. Our Lady of the Holy Rosary, pray for us. Our Holy Father, Saint Dominic, pray for us. Please be seated for a while. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Today is the memorial of Saint Lucy, virgin and martyr. Lucy died at Srimarcus, probably during the persecution of Diocletian. From the antiquity of her cult spread throughout the church, and her name was therefore introduced into the Roman canon. We will now have the morning prayer of the church integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to please actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and my, and my mouth, mouth shall declare, declare your praise. praise. Come, let us worship Christ, the King of Martyrs. Come, let, let us, us worship, worship Christ, Christ, the King of Martyrs. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him, singing for joy. Come, let us worship Christ, the King of Martyrs. Know that he, the Lord, is God. He made us, we belong to him. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Come, let us worship Christ, the King of Martyrs. Go within its gates, giving thanks. Enter his courts with songs of praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. Come, let us worship Christ, the King of Martyrs. Indeed, how good is the Lord, eternal his merciful love. He is faithful from age to age. Come, let us worship Christ, the King of Martyrs. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship Christ, the King of Martyrs. Please be seated. Blessed are they who dwell in your house, O Lord. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord, God of hosts. My soul is longing and yearning, is yearning for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my soul ring out their joy to God, the living God. The sparrow herself finds a home, the swallow, a nest for her brood. She lays her young by your altars, Lord of hosts my King and my God. They are happy who dwell in your house, forever singing your praise. They are happy whose strength is in you, in whose hearts are the roads to Zion. As they go through the bitter valley, they make it a place of springs. The autumn rain covers it with blessings. 
They walk with ever-growing strength. They will see the God of gods in Zion. O Lord God of hosts, hear my prayer. Give ear, O God of Jacob. Turn your eyes, O God, our shield. Look on the face of your anointed. One day within your courts is better than a thousand elsewhere. The threshold of the house of God I prefer to the dwelling of the wicked. For the Lord God is a rampart, a shield. He will give us his favor and glory. The Lord will not refuse any good to those who walk without blame. Lord, God of hosts, happy the man who trusts in you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us climb the mountain of the Lord. In days to come, the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established as the highest mountain and raised above the hills. All nations shall stream toward it. Many peoples come and say, Come, let us climb the Lord's mountain to the house of the God of Jacob, that he may instruct us in his ways, and we may walk in his paths. For from Zion shall go forth instruction, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. He shall judge between the nations, and impose terms on many peoples. They shall beat their swords into plowshares, and their spears into pruning hooks. One nation shall not raise the sword against another, nor shall the rain the train for war again. O house of Jacob, come, let us walk in the light of the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Sing to the Lord, and bless his name. O sing a new song to the Lord. Sing to the Lord all the earth. O sing to the Lord, bless his name. Proclaim his help day by day. Tell among the nations his glory and his wonders among all the peoples. The Lord is great and worthy to be praised, to be feared above all gods. The gods of the heathens are not. It was the Lord who made the heavens. He is our majesty and state and power and splendor in his holy place. Give the Lord, you families of peoples, give the Lord glory and power. Give the Lord the glory of his name. Bring an offering and enter his courts. Worship the Lord in his temple. O earth, tremble before him. Proclaim to the nations, God is king. The world he made firm in its place. He will judge the peoples in fairness. Let the heavens rejoice and earth be glad. Let the sea and all within it thunder praise. Let the land and all it bears rejoice. All the trees of the wood shout for joy. At the presence of the Lord, for he comes, he comes to rule the earth. With justice he will rule the world. He will judge the peoples with his truth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. May the glorious intercession of the Virgin and Martyr Saint Lucy give us new heart. We pray, O Lord, so that we may celebrate her heavenly birthday in this present age and so behold things eternal. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Numbers. When Balaam raised his eyes and saw Israel encamped tribe by tribe, the Spirit of God came upon him and he gave voice to his oracle. The utterance of Balaam, son of Beor, the utterance of a man whose eyes is true, the utterance of one who hears what God says and knows what the Most High knows, of one who sees what the Almighty sees, 
enraptured and with eyes unveiled. How goodly are your tents, O Jacob, your encampments, O Israel. They are like gardens beside a stream, like the cedars planted by the Lord. His well shall lead, yield free-flowing waters. He shall have the sea within reach. His king shall rise higher, and his royalty shall be exalted. Then Balaam gave voice to his oracle. The utterance of Balaam, son of Beor, the utterance of the man whose eye is true, the utterance of one who hears what God says and knows what the Most High knows, of one who sees what the Almighty sees, enraptured and with eyes unveiled. I see him, though not now. I behold him, though not near. A star shall advance from Jacob, and a staff shall rise from Israel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Teach me your ways, O Lord. Teach me your ways, O Lord. Your ways, O Lord, make known to me. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me, for you are God, my Savior. Teach me your ways, O Lord. Remember that your compassion, O Lord, and your kindness are from of old. In your kindness remember me, because of your goodness, O Lord. Teach me your ways, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord, thus he shows sinners the way. He guides the humble to justice. He teaches the humble his way. Teach me your ways, O Lord. Please stand. Alleluia, alleluia. Show us, Lord, your love and grant us your salvation. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus had come into the temple area, the chief priests and the elders of the people approached him as he was teaching and said, By what authority are you doing these things? And who gave you this authority? Jesus said to them in reply, I shall ask you one question, and if you answer it for me, then I shall tell you by what authority I do these things. Where was John's baptism from? Was it of heavenly or of human origin? They discussed this among themselves and said, If we say of heavenly origin, he will say to us, Then why did you not believe him? But if we say of human origin, we fear the crowd, for they all regard John as a prophet. So they said to Jesus in reply, We do not know. He himself said to them, Neither shall I tell you by what authority I do these things. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Gumagawa ng issue yung mga punong saserdote at mga nakatatanda sa institusyon ng relihiyon ng mga Hudyo. Sila ay nanganganib na mawalan ng paggalang ang mga tao sa kanila, mawalan ng mga tagasunod sapagkat lahat ng mga tao halos ay unti-unting nahahalina sa pangangaral ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. Kaya tinanong nila mismo ang ating Panginoong Heso Kristo kung saan ang gagaling ang kanyang otoridad para mangaral at sa mga ginagawa niya. Hindi katulad nilang sertifikado. Meron silang mga titulo na galing mismo sa simbahan ng relihiyon na sinusunod ng mga disenting mga Hudyo. 
Hindi nila nalalamang ang ating Panginoong Heso Kristo ay mayroong otoridad na higit pa sa kanila. Ano yung otoridad na yan? Yung katapatan ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. Yung kanyang sinasabi ay kanyang ginagawa. Kaya yung kanyang pinapangaral, sinasabuhay niya. Kaya kitang-kita ng mga tao, kaya nga mga tao ay naniniwala na sa kanya sapagkat hindi ito ang nakikita nila sa mga pinuno nila doon sa lipunan. Oo nga, may titulo. Pero hindi nila sinasakatawan at sinasabuhay ang ibig sabihin ng kanilang mga titulo. Katulad din dito sa ating lipunan. Meron tayong mga opisyal ng mga tawag natin ay Your Honor, Your Excellency, mga ganyang mga titulo at yan ay mga sertipikado ng simbahan at ng gobyerno. Pero kapag ka narinig natin Your Honor at nakita nila natin yung kanilang personal na buhay at buhay sa lipunan, para namang hindi ka galang-galang. Bakit? Kung anong kaaliwaswasan ang mga pinagagagawa sa kanilang pamumuhay. Your Excellency, pag tinignan mo naman yung track record ng kanilang performance, eh puro kapalpakan naman ang kanilang ginagawa sa kanilang pamumuno. Pagkatapos, lahat tatabihin mo, Your Excellency, parang nagiging katawa-tawa ah, yung mga titulo na ibinibigay sa kanila ng simbahan at ng lipunan. Samantalang ating Panginoong Heso Kristo, Oh, masasabi mo nga walang titulo yan. Eh, anak lang ng karpintero, ikaw nga eh. Pero makikita mo kung ano yung kanyang pinapangaral, pinatutuhanan ng kanyang buhay at ng mga kinikilos niya at kanyang mga ginagawa. Ngayon, upang sa ganun, sagutin ang tinatanong nitong mga punong saserdote at mga nakatatanda na opisyal, ng simbahan nung panahon yun, sinabi ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo, eh kayo, naniniwala ba kayo kay Juan Bautista? O, oh. sapagkat si Juan Bautista ang nagpakilala sa ating Panginoong Heso Kristo bilang sugo ng Diyos ang Mesiyas. Ngayon, kaya sinabi niya, bakit ba naniniwala kay Juan Bautista? Yung bang kanyang pagbabautismo galing sa Diyos o pangkaraniwan lang na bautismo. Sabi niyang gano'n. Eh, nasukul ngayon itong mga saserdote at mga nakatatanda. Bakit? Sa pagbagamat hindi sila naniniwala kay Juan Bautista, pag sinabi nilang hindi sila naniniwala sa bautismo ni Juan Bautista, lahat ng nakapaligid sa kanila ay mga taong naniniwala kay Juan Bautista na si Juan Bautista ay isang propeta kaya nanganganib sila sa public opinion ika nga oh, baka sila suguri ng mga tao dahil sa kanilang pagtatakwil sa kanilang tinatanghal na propeta ng bayan kung sasabihin naman nilang naniniwala sila, eh bakit hindi sila ngayon mga tagasunod ni Juan Bautista kaya ang sabi na lang nila, nagsinungaling na lang sila. Ang sabi nila, eh, ewan? Sabi nila, ewan. Ayun. Nagsinungaling na lang sila. Hindi daw nila alam. Ayan. Ibig sabihin yan, tinalikuran nila ang liwanag. Eh, ganyan naman lagi, ang patakaran nitong mga taong kalaban ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo naghahasik ng mga kasinungalingan laban sa ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. Kaya nga nung ating Panginoong Heso Kristo ay dumating dito sa daigdig, hindi lahat ng tao nagsaya. Hindi lahat ng tao nung isilang ang ating Panginoong Heso Kristo lumigaya sapagkat ang ating Panginoong Heso Kristo ay isinilang dito sa mundo bilang liwanag. Ano ibig sabihin ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo bilang liwanag ayon sa propesya? 
Ang ating Panginoong Heso Kristo ay sinugo ng Diyos, sinilang bilang liwanag, ibig sabihin sinilang siya bilang katotohanan. Ngayon, yung liwanag, hindi lahat ng tao gusto ng liwanag. Yung mga pangit, gusto lagi madilim. Yung mga gwapo lang at gwapa, yun lang ang gusto ng maliwanag. Sapagkat lumulutang ang kanilang pagandahan kapag ka maliwanag. Yung mga pangit, gusto lagi brown out. Sapagkat kapag ka pa, pa madilim, pare-pareho lang, wala kang nakikita, hindi mo malalaman kung sino maganda at kung sino pangit. Ngayon, yung sinasabi ko, talinghaga, ah. hindi ko sinasabi yung kagandahan ng muka o kagandahan ng katawan. Hindi ko sinasabi, kagandahan ng kalooban, kagandahan ng buhay, kabutihan ng konsyensya. O, oh. e nung ating Panginoong Heso Kristo dumating dito, lumiwanag. Kaya yung mabubuti ang kalooban at mabubuti yung konsyensya, nagalak si Maria, si Jose, yung mga pastol. O, nagalak lahat yung mga simpleng taong yun. Yung mga mago, nagalak lahat yun sapagkat nakita. Nakita rin nila yung liwanag. At sa harap ng liwanag, wala naman silang tinatago. Meron din na mga nalungkot. Si Herodes, yung mga taong nasa palasyo. Mga maraming taong gustong ikuble na ayaw mabulgar. Kaya nung dumating ating Panginoong Heso Kristo, hindi lahat natuwa. Yung iba nagsabi, patayin ang liwanag, patayin ang liwanag. Kaya alam nyo, ang Pasko ay para sa lahat. Sana. Bakit? Sapagkat ito ay para sa lahat ng mga taong gustong tumanggap ng liwanag. Sana. Pero hindi lahat ng mga tao gustong tumanggap ng liwanag. Yung iba, tinatalikuran yung liwana At sinasabi pa nga, patayin ang liwana Kaya hindi lahat maligaya sa Pasko. Sapagkat ang Pasko ay pag-ibig. At ang pag-ibig, hindi isinisilang sa kasinungalingan at kalukuhan. A cheating heart is never a loving heart. Yung sinungaling na tao ay hindi pwedeng umibig. Yung mga nalolokong tao, hindi pwedeng umibig. E paano isisilang sa kanila ang Panginoon kung sila'y sinungaling ng sinungaling at loko ng loko? Ang hirap nito sa lipunan ngayon, ginagawa pang negosyo. Ang kasinungalingan. Oh, ang dami kumikita dahil sa kasinungalingan. Oh, magbukas lang kayo ng inyong cellphone. Ang dami diyang kumikita dahil sa kasinungalingan. Oh. Kinakain nila galing sa pagtutrolling. Totoo ba yun? Paninira ng pangalan ng kanilang kapwa-tao. Pagsasaboy at pagkakalat ng fake news. Pag-aaglahi sa mga tao dahil hindi sila nakikilala, pinagmumumura. O ano? Nagiging sistematiko na ang pagsisinungaling. Nagiging sistematiko na yung pagkamuhi. Sapagkat yung mga taong ganyan, na nanlolo ko, katakot-takot ang iskam, ginagamit yung internet sa pag-iskam, oh, laganap na laganap, 
talaga yun yun. Si Kristo ba isinilang at isisilang sa mga taong ganitong nagpapalaganap ng kasinungalingan at panluloko? E itinatakwil nila ang liwanag. Kaya tingnan niyo pag Pasko, oh, puro liwanag. Ha? Pagkatapos yung atin lang kalooban ng madilim. Bakit? E ayaw natin talaga ng Pasko. Ayaw nating isilang si Kristo. Ayaw nating magbago. E binigyan na nga tayo ng Panginoong Heso Kristo ng pag-asa para magbago. Ang dali-dali lang namang mawala ang kadiliman. Ano yun? Humarap lang tayo sa liwanag. Pagharap natin sa liwanag, lahat ng anino nawawala. Hindi ba nakikita yun? Pag kayo nagkaroon ng brown out, tingnan nyo. Magsindi kayo ng isang kandila. Pag kayo tumalikod sa liwanag, oh, ang laki-laki ng inyong anino. Pero pag kayo humarap sa liwanag, wala nang anino. Wala na kayo dapat ikatakot. Ang dali-dali lang. Pag kayo tumalikod sa liwanag, wow! Oh. Ang itim-itim at kaya laki-laki ng anino ninyo, matatakot kayo. Pero pag harap niyo sa liwanag, tumatakbo yung anino. Sa makatwi, tayo gumagawa ng problema natin. Sinilang ang Panginoon, naging liwanag, binigyan tayo ng pag-asa, Harapin niyo lang ako, sabi ng ating Panginoon, tanggapin niyo ako bilang liwanag. Mawawala ang mga anino ninyo. Lalayo sa inyo ang mga problema ninyo. Tutulungan ko kayong makita ang mga solusyon ninyo, yung tamang solusyon. Kung haharapin niyo ako bilang liwanag, sapagkat ako ang katotohanan. Talikdan niyo ako, iwasan niyo ako, puro anino makikita ninyo. Sapagkat hanggang ngayon, ang liyayakap nyo kad- kadiliman, kasinungalingan, kalukuhan. Kaya ano ang pangako ng Paskong ito? Pag-asa. Kung tayo magbabago, kung haharapin natin ang liwanag at katotohanan. Pero kung ayaw natin magbago, sige pa rin. Maniniwala pa rin tayo sa mga sinungaling. Maniniwala pa rin tayo sa mga manluloko. Ah, pinupukpuk natin ang sarili nating ulo ng malaking bato. Tumatalikot tayo sa liwana, gumagawa tayo ng anino, boom! Yung ginawa nating anino. Hindi tayo hihiwalayan at magpawalang hanggan, tatakutin tayo. Ang Pasko ay pag-asa. Pwede pa tayong magbago. Yakapin natin ang liwanag pag tayong maniwala sa mga sinungaling at mga manluloko. Let's all stand to offer our prayers. For every intention, we are going to say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who exercise authority in the church may be filled with gentleness, humility, and love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are in authority may be guided in making decisions by wisdom based on love, justice, and truth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That parents, may they by their authority in home, seek more to love and be loved than to create an atmosphere of repression and fear. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may find healing and consolation 
through God's word and sacraments. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For a Pope, the College of Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those whom we promise to pray, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Master of the Order and his assistants, and for our brothers and ministry at Santo Domingo and Our Lady of the Rosary, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, and for our personal intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may be brought safely home in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty Father, help us to open our hearts to the hope that your Son gives to us on Christmas. The hope that will give us the light in order to accept the truth and to follow the truth so that we may be able to face the reality of your goodness and the grace to share the joy of Christmas with one another because we are all in love with the truth that you have given to us through Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth is given and human hands have made. This will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine, works of human hands, this will become our spiritual Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for a good and a good of all his holy church. May the offering we bring in celebration of St. Lucy win your gracious acceptance, O Lord, we pray, just as the struggle of her suffering and passion was pleasing to you through jesus christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly really right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god for you are glorified when your saints are praised their very suffering are but wonders of your might. In your mercy, you give ardor to their faith, to their endurance, you grant firm result. And in their struggle, their victory is yours through Christ our Lord. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration. And we, with all the hosts of angels, cry out without end as we acclaim.
Fount of all holiness, make holy therefore these gifts. We pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, "Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body." which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith Cristo ay bonita Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and ministered to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francisco, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis, our Auxiliary Bishop, Gerard, the Master of the Order of Preachers, and all the clergy. <coughs> Remember also, our brothers and sisters have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her beloved spouse, with the blessed apostles, Saint Lucy, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Jesus loves us, and in his love for us, he taught us to call his own Father, our Father. So we have the courage to say, Our Father, who Lord art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy, thy name. name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold, this is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to this communion. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please kneel. Let us pray that the forthcoming national and local elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides the destinies of nation. Let us pray together. Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, intimidation, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all the distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord, from bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord, from gullibility to, to the deceptive and blindness of perspective. Deliver us, Lord, from threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Let us pray together. Hear us, O Lord. Hear us, O Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, O Lord that the common good may always be our highest goal. 
Hear us, O Lord, that human dignity may be respected at all time. Hear us, O Lord, that the poor and the weak may always be have the priority. Hear us, O Lord, that care for creation may never be ignored. Hear us, O Lord, that solidarity may guide the path of peace and development. Hear us, O Lord, that genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, O Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others and grow in holiness. Guide our politics as you guide our lives. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. I am the Lord's poor servant, to him alone, the living God. I have offered all in sacrifice. I have nothing else to give. I offer myself to him. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, for he has come to his people and set him free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that it would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight, all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine in those that dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I am the, the Lord's poor servant, servant to him alone, alone, the living God. God. I have offered all in sacrifice. I have nothing else to give. I offer him myself. Let us pray. O God, who bestowed on blessed Saint Lucy a crown among the saints for her twofold triumph of virginity and martyrdom, grant, we pray, through the power of these sacraments, that bravely overcoming every evil, we may attain the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. Kami po ito sa pusong nagpapasalamat sa lahat sa inyo na nagsidalo at nakiisa sa amin sa pagdiriwang ng Santa Eucharistia. Naway pagpatuloy po ninyo ang pagdarasal para sa aming mga naglilingkod sa inyo dito sa Basilica Minore of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawag at makakaasa kayong pagpapatuloy din namin ang pagdarasal para sa inyo at sa mga minamahal nyo sa buhay. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now please join us as we pray for the blessing of the sick, and then followed by prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness towards our sick and aging brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. So that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.
Thank you.